you know that when I'm here, the soul stands right with you. So this, was your, this is your husband's. Yeah. And that was your sister that died. She just asked me, she goes, Matt, can you get off the seat and just be with my sister? Because this is so hard for her to talk to me like this and to connect with me like this. And she kept saying to me, I wasn't supposed to die like this. I wasn't supposed to die like this. I tried to save her she knows. for 10 years. And I just got out of the hospital also. Can I tell you that her soul is here in the moment I'm speaking to her, yeah. right? She tells me that she had this terrible illness within her body here in the physical world. And she keeps telling me that she would have reoccurring infections that would come over her. Because I see her going, ha having to go back and forth to the hospital. And then she also showed me an issue with transfusions. How do you connect with transfusions, blood transfusions? She, yeah, she caught her constantly. Son. Her son was a live liver donor for her. And four and a half years later, she needed, she had leukemia and he ended up donating his stem cells. stem cells. So that's where the blood came in, Correct. and that's where the blood donation came in. Correct. She said to me that she wants to thank you all for the way that you came together and the way that you gave her everything. So the fact that her son donated stem cells, the fact that you donated blood, the fact that you donated organs, the fact that you did all of these things to keep her alive, she just said to me, Matt, my soul was destined to die. She was supposed to die years before she actually did. I know. But she says, you got to know that here in this world, doctors did not give me hope, she tells me. Everybody said that it was a miracle that she lived as long as she did, and nobody believed in me except for all of you. So what I have to tell you is this, is as hard as it was to lose your sister here in this world, she says to me, I would have never lived the life that I did without you, without my son, and without my family by my side. She says, and Matt, she says, I thank God every day that I got here in this world because every day that I was alive, she says, was a second chance. It was a second chance for me. It was a second chance for my life. And she wants to thank you for the way that you went and made her life so beautiful. When she's stepping forward right now, she says, Matt, you need to tell my family that there was no way that I was going to survive this at the end. I know. And I'm going to tell you why. She says to me that every single thing that you did to keep her alive. I tried. You kept her alive, but I just thought that per that person was dead for a minute. That just scared the <laughs> shit out of me. I was going to be like, honey, wait your turn. I'm not ready for you yet. <laughs> That's how I see them. So know that one of the things is this. You can't do that to a medium. You just can't sneak up on the back. My wife always says to me, how the hell are you going to know if someone breaks into our house? You're not going to know if they're alive, if they're dead. <laughs> It's funny because last night I saw a dead person on, this, on, on the road, right? And I go to my tour manager, I go, oh my God, there's a dead person. I said, there's this man that died right here. He goes, where, where, he's looking. I go, how are you? I said, what do you see them too? He goes, oh, I was looking for an actual person. I go, do you not see what I do for a living? <laughs> know that one of the things that your sister is telling me is this. She says, Matt, she goes, everything that you all did to keep me alive. She says, I overcame so much. She says, but in doing so, she goes, it took a little bit of me every single time. And at the end of her life, she shows me that her body was just tired. She says, I couldn't keep fighting anymore. As much as I wanted to stay alive, as much as I wanted to be here, she says, my body just gave out, and she's bringing that through. Am I, also at the same time, is there also Barbara as well? That's my mom. Oh, that's your mother? Yes. And, you're, and she's still here in the physical? Yes, she is. Your sister keeps saying to me, tell her she has to watch over Barbara now. Watch over Barbara. I'm trying, we, we know. So what I have to tell you is this, is that when I'm connecting with her, she says, Matt, say Barbara. She says, because I need her to know to watch over her, and your sister's also watching over her from the other side. Oh my God, this is so sad. Your sister just said to me that your mom is losing the will to live after yeah. her passing. That is correct. Um, I got a call today, surprisingly, and then my brother followed up today. Um, yeah, her memory, she's having memory issues. Her legs are not working well. She's 86. Yeah. Please tell your mom that her sister was here, excuse me, that your sister was here tonight. And please know this. What's tough is, is that when I'm connecting with, your, with, with her daughter, with your sister, she says to me, Matt, she says, my mom was never like this. My mom was strong. My mom was tough. Yes. She says, but since my passing, she gave up everything. She gave up yes. all hope. Yes. She says, and she just wants to be with me. Yes. So she says, listen, do as much as you can for her. But what I can tell you is this. Your sister is standing by your mother right here, right now. Because mm -hmm. she keeps whispering in my ear, Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. Letting you know 
that as your mom is going through all of these motions, as your mom is fighting this fight and being um, emotionally and internally, your sister is there. And she's telling you this for a reason. Because she doesn't want you to feel guilty, to feel all of the things that you feel with your sister. The same way that you feel like you could have saved your sister and been there for your sister when you did, now you feel that with your mom. You're like, what am I going to do? Your sister says to me, I am taking care of her now. So listen, what's crazy is this, is when souls get close to passing, right, or when they have something that, that's critical, for example, Alzheimer's or dementia, right, sometimes it brings them closer to the spirit worlds where they can actually see souls that have passed on. So if your mom ever says that she sees your sister, or like I would ask her, I'd have conversations with her and say, hey, did you, did, you know, my sister come and visit you, was, was she here? Was your daughter here? And see what she says. Because what I can tell you is that she tells me she's coming to visit your mom right now. And that as your mom's going through this journey, she is not alone. Your sister is right there. She says, and I will always be watching over the whole entire family. Well, thank you very much for that. I am intuitive a little bit. You're what? I am intuitive a little bit. So I kind of was trying to guide my sister gingerly because she didn't believe in what I believed in. So I knew. I knew how sick she was, and I tried to speed forward things. And I think family now knows that I have intuitiveness. So, well, listen. Thank you for that confirmation. And yeah, I you're very welcome. That. You listen. What's What's amazing is my grandfather died thinking I was a comedian. So the <laughs> thing is, is that sometimes, right? Sometimes people don't know what they don't understand, right? They only understand what they, what what you know, as far as their minds can go. But what's so beautiful is this is that even if people don't believe and they don't understand, it doesn't mean that you stop doing what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you stop using your gifts. And your sister is, is validating that now, the same way that you're talking to her on the other side. You're like, please watch over mom. Please be there for mom. You're asking her to do all those things that she's validating. It's her way of letting you know that you have also that special connection with her. It's the reason why she's here, right here and now. Yeah. It's the reason why she's both with you and your husband. I'm going to leave you with that. Th thank you. I, couldn't, I could not be with my mom because I just came out of the hospital with liver disease as well. Well, listen, I'm glad that you're here. So she just said, I couldn't be with my sister, excuse me, I couldn't be with my mom because she just got out of the hospital. Well, listen, that's why your sister's here saying, I'm with mom, exactly. I'm with mom. Thank so you the fact that. that you can't be, it doesn't matter because your sister is. Thank you. Right, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you.